times it's time But maybe it's time, baby it's time No time Well, hello. I, oh, whoops. Um, I thought I would vlog this trip. Um, I, you probably don't know where we are. Oh, here he comes. Hello. Okay, anyway, Jared Felix and I are currently on a trip right now um, in Michigan. We're a few hours away from home. We're in Fenville, Michigan, it's called. Um, and it's kind of near Saugatuck. It's by Lake Michigan, that kind of area. And um, yes, so I thought I would vlog um, just for the memory's sake and fun because, you know, you guys probably not ever seen me out of the house, maybe. Um, so I figured I would do that. We are here to celebrate Jared and I's first year wedding anniversary, which was on Halloween. Um, so it was like last month, but we decided to come this weekend to celebrate it. And it's been magical. It's so cute up here. It's like we're in the middle of the forest. We found an Airbnb that's like on 40 acres or something. And it's super quiet and discreet and just like beautiful. Like where we're at right now is like the perfect time for Taylor to drop red, um, Taylor's version, and it has been amazing. So I haven't listened to the full thing. I still need to listen to um, All Too Well, the 10 minute version, but I can't get myself in the mental space yet to do that. So I've just kind of been like waiting um, because I've already started crying to like Holy Ground I heard. I heard like um, We Are Never Getting Back Together. We, we listened to a few of them when we were driving to like the grocery store, but we haven't listened to the full thing. And I'm like so nervous because I don't want to get, I have to, Anyway, um, so I thought I would do like a little house tour of this house because um, I think it's so cute. This is like, I've never been in an Airbnb before. My sister's gone a lot and my parents, but we have never gotten one before and it's been like the most amazing experience ever. Like highly recommend it. <laughs> so I know everyone else has been to one except for us. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd introduce this vlog because a lot of it's probably just gonna be like more aesthetic. Um, things that I'm gonna try to be like cool and do, although I'm not, I don't know how to do it, but um, just for fun and stuff. What you want to, those you can have them, it doesn't matter, you can make noise. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird, you don't have to, <laughs> have to be quiet. To <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> um, anyway, um, uh, backstory we got here last night. It was dark, we didn't really have anything to do because it was like six and it was already dark. Um, and we went in the hot tub, we played in the little game room that I'll show you guys, and then we kind of just like chilled and what? What did we do? We went in the hot tub, we chilled, the game we room. drank. Yeah, we played in the game room, we drank some White Claws and High Noons, and that was basically it. We have a bottle of wine, I guess from the Mich from like a Michigan vineyard here. Hold on, let me see. He said, um, they left it for us. It's Fen Valley Vineyards Wine Cellar Sweet Rizzling White Wine. And so we're gonna try that tonight and we're just gonna have fun. Oh, and then this morning we went to Lake Michigan but then it started hailing and we saw like, it literally looked like a water tornado. What what, what was it called, Jared? Uh, um, uh, water oh, oh, waterfront? Spout. What, a water spout tornado or something? Um, we think. I don't know, we diagnosed it ourselves. But it looked like that. I'll put a picture Jared took here of like the thing over it. Maybe it was just a weird cloud, but it was like storming so bad. It has been this whole like weekend. And so I thought that that's what that looked like. I don't know, but we dipped out of there because it was hailing and everything. We just wanted to see Lake Michigan and bring Felix to it because we found like a beach that we thought was dog friendly. And the tide was like way too high. Right? I think that's what it is. Um, the tide was high and it was just like, you couldn't walk on the beach really. So we ended up leaving and then we went to the grocery store and then came back here and we were walking around outside because it's so pretty. I'll show you the property outside. Maybe we'll do that right now. Maybe we'll start with the game room, Jared. <laughs> here's a little, here's a little sneak peek of the backyard portion. Um, then we're going into, there's like another building that has a bunch of game. It's like, what do they call it? The rec room. And it has like a bunch of games. You'll see. In a second. Yeah, and then what the heck? There's a stray dog here. Felix, come. He always has to pee everywhere we go. He has to pee like 800 times. Giddy up, sir. Yes. So we open the door and here is the game room. Oh, come on. Okay. You are so not funny. It's like, hey, um, this is the game room there's a little pool table we played that last night um we played ping pong which we will always love ping pong and then i was our first time playing darts together ever and this is like a real dartboard growing up i had like a fake one but this one i mean let's see here you want to hold it and let me show them it's me of course um because almost all of my shots have been perfect it's crazy 
It's really crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which I it's think wild. I'm pretty much like a professional in a way. All right, ready? <laughs> Red dot. Felix looks sad about that. Yeah, oh. of course Felix. Look, right that. I told you. Time. What's it happen when you blink? I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird. Anywho. Um, oh, I guess here. I should take them back, huh? <laughs> Is that what? Am I not supposed to do that? <laughs> Anyway, okay, so back to the tour. Thank you, Jared. Um, and then it's just like kind of just a bunch of random stuff. They have balls, which is, all of this would be so nice like in the summertime, um, but it's quite freezing right now. Oh, and then there's this game, which we looked up in a YouTube video on how to do, and it looked fun, but I don't think you can really do spike ball with two people. I'm not sure, it didn't look like it. Anyway, maybe not our thing, but otherwise I would like to play cornhole, mm. but it is kind of cold, so we could do it in here though. Um, anyway, and then this again is the back of it and um, there's like a little fire pit back there There's a hot tub that we went in which they did something to this morning. I saw someone out. I think they cleaned it Oh, did that scare you? I'm sorry. And then this is a little porch that they have. Well, it's not little. It's actually quite big um, And oh and the grill that would have been nice if it was nice I feel like my then this hammock here, which I would have killed to use you guys know I love hammocks, and I think that's like the same one I have, just in a different color. Just everything is so cute about this place. Obviously, like, look at the the colors of everything. Such a vibe. Um, and then I love, like, the, uh, all of the little details. You know what I'm saying. Like, the woods together and this, and it's kind of like, I don't know what you would call it. But this. We walk in to this area, which is like the living room area. It's kind of very op open concept. So it's the kitchen and the living room, um, which we have blankets all over, obviously, for Felix. Um, and then this is like Felix's little corner. So cute. We got this Costco bed, um, Costco dog bed. And highly recommend I post it on my Instagram story, but they're like $30. Felix, lay down on it. Good boy. Only took a little bit of convincing. But look, he fits perfectly on it and he loves it. He's very picky about dog beds. And um, he fits it perfectly. He's like 100 pounds for reference. And then this thing like came like at the house, um, this like wood sculpture thing. And I think it was so cool. And I thought, wow, what a perfect spot for Felix's toy. So this is Felix's corner. Yes. Let me show you from this angle, like the super high ceilings with the exposed piping or whatever those are, air vents. Um, and then these big tall windows. I'm sure it's so beautiful when it's sunny out. Like, this little chair, greetings from Michigan. We love Michigan, if you live in Michigan, I feel like you know that like that type of thing is everywhere in Michigan, which is so cute. Don't get me wrong. I just think it's so funny that like every house you go into Michigan, they have something about Michigan. Anyway, we have Michigan fried, don't we? I do love Michigan. Anyway, um, so this is like a little fireplace thing. We haven't really deciphered how to do it or if we're going to do it or whatever, but it is quite beautiful nonetheless. Um, and they have literally everything that you could possibly think of. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sure that's normal for Airbnb, but it's super cute nonetheless. I just think it's adorable. Like these, I don't know. Everything just looks really nicely made and just really nicely designed and everything. So I think it's super cute. Wine fridge. And then again, into the family room. So we're going to go over here. We have the thermostats. I found out I read through the brochure on Airbnb and these floors are heated. They're concrete floors. That I guess that's like the way that this place is heated is through the floors and so I thought that was super cool everything is very concrete and just really nice I don't know um, this is like the main bedroom as you can see we have all of our stuff um you know all around <laughs> I don't know um we think this is cute if you notice any specific detail that of course Jared <laughs> pointed out okay, um my stuff here I only packed like a little bit of different things but I haven't really needed to wear anything because I've just went in the same outfit because we're not really going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, beautiful still, high ceilings, amazing fans. Look at the ceilings too with the wood. I love it. Anyway, now into the bathroom, which I think is my favorite part. I just think these bathrooms are so cool. So if you see this, there's a shower there. No door or anything. Crazy. I took a shower in it last night. It was amazing. And I want to take a bath in it tonight because that tub looks spectacular. Anyway, now to the side of the house. Uh, and this coming from the other side is another bathroom. There's like a little side bathroom, which is beautiful as well. Those are our bathing suits from the hot tub. But, um, again, an amazing shower. So much inspiration because it's like, we have to redo all of our showers in our house. And I love the like, look with the no door. I'm sure if you're living in it every day, it's maybe not 
the best because I think it like squirts on the toilet. <laughs> squirts on. That's not good. Um, like, at least that's what I noticed when I took one last night. Like the water did get all over, so I could see that being a con. But nonetheless, I think it's beautiful. Anyway, now here's the little entryway, and I just think this is super cute too, the mud room and how they have everything decorated and with these little hooks oops that I put all of my like hats and scarves and stuff on just to kind of clean it up and yeah and then they have a washer and dryer so I'm trying to quicken this up because it's not even my house so it doesn't really matter but and then lastly this other bedroom is super cute super perfect we could have brought you with us Jamie she's at home watching the cats with her cats anyway that is the tour cheers this is like coffee it's probably cold now Right? Mm, lukewarm. Yeah, it's lukewarm, which is like, you either have to have coffee super hot or super cold. I think it tastes great. Yeah, you didn't taste it. Oh wait, you did. he didn't like my coffee because I put milk and sugar in it, which if you guys like have that similar remembrance of like growing up, I mean, people still do it, but like before creamers, coffee creamers were like a really big thing. Okay, you guys, I'm literally so wrong about this. I don't know why I thought, so this is just a fun fact, it's not that deep, but I think it's funny that I thought that coffee creamers weren't a thing until like a like not too long ago like into my life and then I looked it up and they've been a thing since 1961 I didn't know that my mom always worked in restaurants as a waitress so when we would go visit her at work we would put like a little bit of like the cream like the plain creamer in it and sugar and it always tasted so good so that's what I remembered today because we didn't have creamer and it's just so much simpler in it's, there's a different taste to it because there's no like vanilla or hazelnut or flavorings. I like it and I appreciate the finer things in life. So he might of, not. What? The day of nostalgia. Yeah. Creamer, Taylor Swift red. Right. I was already mentioning that to them. I was talking about Taylor Swift's red and I was like, I haven't even like really listened slept. to it. Yeah, I haven't slept since it came. I wish. I just couldn't even. There's another one, Come Back Be Here, which is one of my all time favorite Taylor Swift songs. See, so that one literally breaks my heart. And yeah. Anyway. What are we gonna do? I, do you want lunch or something? I can make lunch. We can make something. I don't know. We have Lunchables. Jared went to the grocery store today. Okay, yeah. Actually, I think what we're going to do is we're gonna run to the store really quickly um, and pick up a few things. I need makeup wipes. I literally washed my face this morning with Dial. No, this is hand sanitizer. <laughs> wasn't that it was like soft soap or dial hand soap and I had to wash my face with it because I didn't have um I didn't bring any of my skincare except for my moisturizer of course um and I've been wearing makeup because I had to shoot some content today um for one of my favorite brands but I uh did that so I had to put makeup on what yeah I did not have a lot of fun normally I love shooting content but today, I'm sorry to Jared, and I know this is our anniversary trip, but I made him like help me with it because it's for work. Um, so that's my excuse. <laughs> but um, I'm annoyed at how gloomy it was, and I had a very short time frame to shoot it, and it's just going directly for the brand. So it's like not on my socials really, but it's just frustrating whenever the lighting has been so crappy the past few days. And I usually pre-plan it, and I try to plan it on good days, but it's literally, I've not had a good day since I, since I like booked it, and yeah. Please look at this, we just got home and it is indeed snowing. The first snow of ours in Michigan. Like look at the roof. Oh my God, is that a bat? Oh, maybe it was. Anyway, um, okay, now we are going to go inside. Eat, right, wait, 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 wait.
you guys this hat before? Well, I, I definitely thrifted it with you guys, but I think it's like my favorite hat that I've ever found ever at the thrift store. I know I say that about like everything, but genuinely. Anyway, we are in the game room now and we're playing darts again. We, as you guys saw earlier, we went on a hike. Um, well, I don't know if I filmed that much, but we went on a hike at, what is it? It was like a recreation Michigan State Park or something like. Great Lakes Crossing. Yeah. <laughs> this lighting is just absolutely trash. I'm sorry. Anyway, we went to the sand dunes and then we went to the beach in Lake Michigan again, but a different like uh, beach than we did earlier today. And then we went hiking at a national park or not a national park, I keep saying that, it's a Michigan State Park. Yeah. And it was really fun and it was a really good hike and we were gonna hike to the beach but it was like four miles there and back and we didn't want to get home like too late but I'm hoping we can come back and do that one day because the hike was really nice. We got like halfway through it. Um, and we definitely also, um, oh my God, you can hear the train. Uh, I love hearing trains. Does anyone else like, just love hearing trains? We hear them from our house sometimes, very faintly if you listen closely enough, and I just love it so much. Um, but anyway, so we also had to leave because it started snowing and it was raining and hailing all day. The weather this weekend has actually been the shittiest weather that I've had in like a long time. And here, look, I'll prove it. Can you see? Well, I like snow, but I don't like it when it's like this. It's like either snow until like I can't see the green or don't snow at all, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> Can you guys see me? Watch, I'll probably be better doing this. <laughs> yeah. Jared's turn. <laughs> you shut up. washed my face with this dial coconut water and mango hydrating hand soap i know i know all of the estheticians and skincare junkies i know it's bad um i know i should not be doing that but i literally have nothing i can't. just went in the hot tub which explains my hair looking like this so sorry um and i just wanted to wash my face of all of the chlorine so that's the best i can do i tried it with this body wash yesterday that we have over here it's like this ren pure nourishing body wash and it just didn't really do much. And so I had to do it again with a different one. I'm like, might as well just skip to this part. Um, I'm gonna put this, this is one of my, um, I mentioned another moisturizer um, by CeraVe, I believe it is. And there's this one too that I bought at the same time, which I love so much. It's the Boots um, Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. It's so good. I don't know what they put in this stuff, but like, it's super, I don't know, it's just like, well, I don't know what they put in this stuff. Hyaluronic acid, I guess, but it seems like a lot of it. I don't know, but it gives that like, you know the feel whenever you like put hyaluronic acid on your face after your face is wet and it's really smooth and it's like the texture of a serum kind of mixed with a moisturizer. I don't know what it is. view out of this 
window is just so pretty and look at there's like an inch of snow on the ground um if you look over there well there's probably actually two or three inches now it this is the only perfume that i brought i'm telling you guys when i love dossier i love dossier um this is like my second bottle and i'm much in it but this is my favorite scent oriental cherry i just really i can't describe how good it smells like every time i spray it i like think of it in a different way it smells like cherry but it doesn't it's like musky cherry I don't know what it is about that, but they are packing to go home now and kind of finishing up everything, doing the dishes, got to take the garbage out and I'm going to make the bed and stuff and we're going to get going because we would like to be home before it starts actually snowing where we live um, because my sister is, like I said, at our house right now and she said it hasn't snowed yet. So I'm hoping that halfway through the drive, it like is in a different <laughs> weather zone. Um, we'll see, but Garrett, I think is making sure all of the um everything is done out there um i don't think i want to put any makeup on definitely not so jamie and i we told this on the podcast but we um both went to sephora the other day and we both picked up a dior lip oil we got different colors so that we could share them um because we're cheap and didn't want to buy both of them when we could just share them and i got like the color mahogany just because it was like a deeper color and i wanted it to be for like fall and winter this one it feels so nice like dior did something with this and i've heard everyone talk about this on the internet i swear to god for like probably actually like a year plus i get the hype like it's not like a regular lips gloss where it like makes your lips your dry skin on your lips kind of like peek through or anything or like you can feel it this like actually nourishes your lips and it just it feels really good i don't know much about the color like i was trying to see yesterday if you can see the color or not but I don't really care. It feels really good on me. All right, sir, you gotta stay off of the bed. Do you hear me? his playtime and distract him this is felix's all of his stuff his little water jug and some toys and then we got these um this is his we got a set of three on amazon because we didn't have like any luggage because we never really travel um but we needed some and so we figured we went on amazon we found some because we, it was last minute and we couldn't find any at like macy's or nordstrom or like we probably could have gone to tj maxx or home goods or something but amazon was just quick and easy and they had nice ones these ones I think are super cute and so it's a set of three they're all the same and matching and this is felix's it's like the small carry-on and then we have like a medium one that jared uses and then i of course use the big one um but i think that's good for right now we're going to finish out everything i think everything is out of there now let me double check yeah and then if you're wondering um, what other bags I used that I love so much, this Toile Cezanne bag, which I think is like one of my favorite bags I own. I think it's so freaking cute. Um, I love the colors in the Toile and stuff, but also it's just really functional. It's like huge. So it fits everything that you could possibly need. I saw my friend Elizabeth Stay Golden Girl um, on Instagram. She posted about this and I love her and I love her style. And I love everything she posts. And this specifically, whenever she posted it, I immediately immediately snagged it um before it got sold out on Cezanne because because it seems like things go fast in there i don't know i love Cezanne in general uh, i don't know if i'm saying that right it's so like a french brand i believe and then this mam bag which i've showed you guys a billion times it's one of my favorites too because it also fits a bunch but i use this for my content shooting stuff that i needed to bring um and then that's everything my laptop and camera stuff is in here and then jared's or <laughs> jared's lammy felix's lammy and it is absolutely just crazy how it's like still, is it snowing or is it not? I think that's maybe just the look what's falling off. Felix, you're not getting in from that side. Come here, boo-boo. We're getting in from the back. You gotta put your seatbelt on first. Come on, let's go get your thing on. Dad, he's ready Felix, to what are you doing? Oh. 
Oh, Your nice setup over here, Felix. I have to buckle him in. Um, we just got him this new harness um, that's like a seatbelt for dogs, which I didn't know this, you guys. But I didn't, I never knew this in all of my years of having dogs. You're supposed to have them buckled in. I didn't understand or know anything about that. So we just got this for him. And I heard a comment from someone saying, like, that I guess like a 50 pound dog can be like a 500 pound, like, throw an object through like a windshield or something. I don't know how fast they have to be going for that, but Felix, why is it like that? He's not always the happiest about it, but you're safe. Look at that, see it just like hooks him in. Then he just lays down the entire ride like a good big boy. <laughs> okay, be good. That stays. Hi, we're home. Oh my god, my hair looks like a mess. Um, but I'm in my laundry room right now because I'm currently redoing it. And I actually have a video coming like for the full makeover. So this is a um, sneak peek. You can't see anything really though that happened. Other than we did get a new washer and dryer, um, which is amazing. But anyway, oh my god, I totally like forgot. Yeah, we're home. Um, we drove home and we got here probably about one-ish. 1 p.m. Um, then we hung out with my sister for a little bit, then she left, went home, and now we are just chilling at home again doing home projects um, to finish off our weekend because we have to get this stuff done in general um, because we have Thanksgiving coming up and we have family coming over and it's very stressful because I want stuff done because the last time I came, it's like I want, you know, it to look like it's been done. Maybe I'll just talk to you while I do this, um, but you know that kind of thing. And let's see spackle like a corner over here and um so no off days and we really didn't travel that far for that long anyway so it's not like we need to recoup or anything which i'd say is pretty good but um oh wow i patched easily i'm not the world's best wall patcher but i will give myself credit where it's due. Ooh, that's like a little bit of a sneak peek. There's that one. Oh my god, my hand's shaking right now. Um, but Jared's out there building the cabinets. So like we're not even like halfway through this project, but we're past like the hard part. The flooring was the hard part and that took a long time and was kind of harder just in general overall. And next we have to, I'm wallpapering this wall. So I'm filling all the holes and stuff. So I can hopefully wallpaper tonight or tomorrow. And then we're ship lapping while paneling, kind of wood paneling on the rest of the walls. And then, yeah, that kind of thing. So anyway, um, that's what's happening, and I figured that I would update you how we got home, and I figured I'd also give a sneak peek because it is what I'm doing today, and it kind of just lines up with the rest of, you know, the vlog because it's this weekend, so I figured I would do like a little weekend vlog and just kind of finish it off because I don't know how much footage I actually got of our trip or not, or whatnot. And yeah, I feel like I kind of want to paint this window too because now that I'm looking at it, I feel like I might paint it the color that I'm going to paint the other walls. And I feel like that might look good because I'm pretty sure the last people painted these windows white. And if you can see, um, it doesn't look good at all. They never cleaned them, first of all. Second of all, they like did a really messy job on all of them. Like there's white paint all over our other windows out there, which is fine. I get it. I'm a DIYer too. But, um, and I'm not a good one, but um, it is annoying to look at for me. <laughs> so I'm hoping, watch me do it. And then I like, cause I've never done it before. So I'm like, if you're judging and I've never done it, but watch me do it and it like gets all up there. Anywho, so I think I might do that. I'm trying to find like a curtain or a Roman shade. I really like Roman shades just cause they're easier and cuter in my opinion um, to put, because right now if you can see up there, we just have like that one. And I want like a more fun one. And let me maybe, maybe I can give a little sneak peek of the wallpaper. Let me go get it. Hey, hey. sexy ladies. Oh. Found this brand online called Sanderson Wallpaper. I'm sure a lot of, I think if they've been around a lot for a long time, they have a lot of like very famous wallpaper prints, I'm pretty sure. And I think I bought this one. I don't know where I found it. Okay, we bought this on Perigold. That's what the site was, but it's by Sanderson. And so I figured I'd give you a little sneak peek. I don't want to give too much away because I usually do, and I just 
don't want it, but I can't really, I guess, show you much of it, but it is a 12 print um, because that's what I'm really into for the past few years. I love the classicness of it. I just think it looks very European, maybe French, but also English and like British. I don't know if that's like the term you use, I guess old English it kind of reminds me of. And that's kind of the vibe that I like, like old English farmhouse or old European farmhouse. I really have been trying to hone in on like what I like for home decor because for a while I went through like a little bit of like a Swedish like funky phase, you know, like I was going out viral on Pinterest and like fashion. That was at the same time as like when I was really into the fashion trends that were like kind of, you know what I mean? Like those were all at the time like of TikTok kind of blowing up during quarantine. Everyone's buying like the same similar house items and like things. And I feel like that's always the thing, but especially then, and don't get me wrong, I do love my items still that I bought for that. But I've realized after that, that I really like the old English European farmhouse style. And I kind of want to hone in that a little bit more as we're doing like actual home projects where we're going to like make permanent decisions and something that I'll like forever more so than, um, you know, not and get sick of, but, oh my God, I just opened it. I didn't even realize I opened this. I guess I can give you like an actual look-see at it. And you know how I found this is I wanted a horse printed wallpaper and I didn't want like full horses because you guys don't know, you probably didn't I know, but I am a horse girl through and through. And while I can't own horses currently at this house, um, because of the yard size and stuff. Um, I wanted to have it on my wallpaper and everywhere plastered through the house. So I found a little bit more subtle of a print, although it is a hunting scene and I am not really into hunting, but it is like an old vintage hunting. So I could just, I can like ignore that fact. But anyway, um, I do think it's beautiful and I think it's so nice. It feels really nice. And this is like a real wallpaper. I've never actually wallpapered. So if you are interested in how that's going to go and watching me do that, um, I'm going to put it in my actual like renovation video and like makeover video but as for right now that's what it is i felt like i just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit in here so okay look at a little sneak peek well you can't really see is this the color of it or is this the this is the color yeah funny um but these are all of our <laughs> suitcase we haven't put away yet look at who's so tired from our trip literally he's like been sleeping the whole day away oh my god <laughs> it's a little it's a little paw who's in there <laughs> It's a helper kitty. Hi. An ah, an assassin. I see. You gotta help do my part. If you're wondering where Mr. Franklin is, he loves it under our dining room table. You guys, it's the next day and it's officially snowing like hardcore outside, if you can see this. Um, loving it. Like, this is the view from the living room window right now. Let me show you. Oh my god, that literally looks like a toile wallpaper. Am I going crazy? Hold on. And then, like, from our little dining nook. And then from the kitchen. Oh my god, I love it so much. Anyway, I thought I would... Um, pull out the camera really quick because I have a few finds that I wanted to show you guys. Um, sorry, the background might be messy. But I have these scarves, which I found at Nordstrom Rack. Well, I have two from Nordstrom Rack and one from Amazon that I have to show you guys because I keep getting DMs on Instagram every time I post them. And so I figure I put them in a YouTube video. Um, but this is what I'm wearing today. I moved into the living room, which is still quite a mess, but it's okay. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, I keep getting DMs on Instagram about these scarves, so I figured I would just put them in a YouTube video. So hopefully you can see them. This is my outfit. I've Yes, I've been wearing these same sweatpants the entire weekend. I washed them once. I do have like glue adhesive from the wallpaper yesterday, which turned out so good. You guys, I'm so excited for you guys to see the makeover video. Um, but anyway, so first scarf we have here from Nordstrom Rack, which if you can see, it's just this like black tassel scarf but the thing is you guys i searched high and low for good scarves because i found some at like aritzia and things and i just in madewell also had good scarves but those were all like six oh my god i'm literally shaking for my coffee can you see that oh, that's not oh, good no. i got i got a medium too 
I mean, it was, it was a medium coffee and I normally am fine. Anyway, um, so I found these scarves from Madewell and Aritzia and they were like $60. And for me, I just don't trust myself with scarves here. I literally like get the, I don't know what happens to them, but I get snow on them. I get like fall leaves on them. And so I didn't want to spend like $60 to $100 on a scarf. If I could find one that felt very similar to it, um, even though like I would use it here, obviously, and I would get my money's worth. But anyway, so I wanted to find some good affordable scarf finds and share them with you guys. So that's where we came to this one from Nordstrom Rack, which I think is so perfect. It's like this really soft black material. It doesn't say the material, but it's really cozy and soft. It's not like itchy at all. Tassels is the biggest thing I was looking for because I found so many that didn't have the tassels and I think the tassels kind of add to it. Um, anyway, next is the same exact scarf from Nordstrom Rack again, but it's in white and I love this one. I think this one is maybe my favorite because it literally goes with everything and it's really cozy again. They're the same thing, but just different colors. They did have other colors too. I think they had a green and a blue um and then maybe like a pink this one i thought reminded me of that acne studios um scarf which i found that i really love and this one you guys i found on amazon for only ten dollars i think this exact same one i found on lulu's and i was gonna buy it um but then i didn't and it's just so perfect like look how beautiful it is i love the colors in it i think it's perfectly like toned down with these colors like it's nice and colorful but like kind of more muted um and i just think it's so cute and like i said only ten dollars i think it was thirteen dollars but i when i looked yesterday it was ten dollars and i just love it so much and it's literally like a big blanket that's why i like scarves it's like i feel like i'm walking around in like a blanket this is my scarf haul i thought i would mention for you guys and we just got back from home depot we got some trim to try for the room in there and we're going to hopefully like decide on that maybe go get it we have to figure out how to get this wood paneling to our house we might have to borrow uh, my parents truck and <clears throat> see because it won't fit in our car i already measured the jeep but um it won't anyway so that's for another time and i'm gonna end this vlog here i think and maybe start another one or just like post this one and we'll see and i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for spending the weekend with me and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye